Hi guys, Dane here, and today I'm going to be doing a quick sort of discussion video, I suppose, and it's about why I'm not taking part in Booktubeathon. So before anyone starts hitting the dislike button, I have no problem with Booktubeathon. I don't think there's anything wrong with it. I actually think it's a really good way of bringing the community together. It's just for me and the way that I read, it doesn't really work. So I, it's weird because I don't do TBRs because I have kind of very specific ways in which I read, but um. I do normally have specific books coming up that need to be read. So I think I've got three books already lined up for the Booktubeathon week anyway that I want to be reading. I also, like I saw people talking about like taking the week off work so they could do it and stuff and that seems a bit excessive to me for what it is. I mean, it's great that it's this community event that happens once a year but at the end of the day it is still a readathon and I don't particularly do readathons. I do like the challenges, I like that aspect of any kind of readathon and quite often I'll see somebody, for example, doing a non-fiction readathon and I'll decide, okay, I'm going to read one non-fiction book that week to tie in with it. But I just don't really have the time to commit to participating into a full readathon, especially if we talk about making the reading challenges on top of it. Another thing that I kind of don't like about it too much is that it makes booktube kind of boring for me in the same way that and this is no way a criticism of people who do these kind of videos but top five Wednesday for example every top every Wednesday there's a top five Wednesday topic and I see like 30 different people in my feed all do the same video on the same topic and it it just I end up not watching any of them because it, I couldn't watch all of them you know and then so I'm like well I only tend to watch ones if they're by people who I really enjoy and to be honest most of the people I enjoy watching don't do something don't do stuff like top five Wednesday like I say don't get me wrong there will be videos that people shoot throughout booktubeathon that I might watch I've watched a few TBRs uh, not a huge amount because I don't tend to watch TBRs in general uh, I'll probably watch a few of like the challenge videos that people do and maybe the wrap-ups at the end but um, yeah I mean I another reason as well that I don't want to take part in it is because I only want to do videos that I myself enjoy doing and if I don't necessarily enjoy watching these huge amounts of videos by people on the same topic I don't think I'm gonna to want to make one on that topic I'd rather just continue with what I'm doing I suppose another thing as well is that for me I'm I'm not sure how difficult or easy I'd even want to make it like I could take part in it and do a book for each of the seven challenges and have them all be my penguin mini moderns and I could read them in a day and then I'm finished so that's the really the only way I can imagine myself wanting to take part like I I, I don't know I, I I wouldn't want to add that extra pressure to myself to be honest I enjoy reading for reading's sake and I like being able to have a mixture of books that I know I'm gonna read soon and also just picking books up at random so for example after I finish reading the passage I have absolutely no idea what I'm gonna read next by my little kind of rules of what I read Cronin is a new author to me so I need to read an existing author who I've read before so potentially I might do some like Agatha Christie or something like that uh, I don't know it really depends how I feel when I finish this book Another thing I would say about Booktubeathon as well is it seems to me as though it's a lot of the younger, more YA focused channels that take part. I don't necessarily see too many people like, I don't know, like Todd the Librarian. I don't think he's taken part this year. It seems to be a, you know, a, a, a younger person game, I suppose. And um, I mean, I know I could take part. I'm, I probably qualify as both old and young at this point. But, but um, I'm 29 in case you're wondering. I don't know, it just doesn't appeal to me and I don't want to force myself to do something that I don't particularly want to do just because everyone else is doing it. Like I say, I mean, I, I do think it's a good thing. I think the fact that Booktubeathon takes place is great for the community because it really helps to raise awareness of it. I think it's great for the community as well because it introduces people to each other. You know, people are looking for inspiration for challenge videos and they find new channels and all of this kind of stuff. But ultimately, as, as fun as like sketches are and you know little I don't know like challenge number two Hermione decides what's in a Hogwarts bag or whatever it's not really the kind of content that I enjoy watching on booktube so it's just not really for me I think I don't know I, I've seen loads of videos of people getting really into the spirit and I've just been wondering whether I'm crazy I mean 
Are there other people who are not taking part in Booktubeathon, or is this just something that everybody does and you're not a proper Booktuber unless you do it? Because that also seems to be almost the implication when so many people are doing it. You're like, so, but I don't want to do it. Does this mean I'm, I'm not a real Booktuber for not doing it? I'm sure that's just me projecting my own anxieties and insecurities there. Like I say, Booktubeathon is a good thing, it's just not for me. Will I be watching videos from it? Yes, I will. Am I less likely to watch a video from a channel I subscribe to because it's just another Booktubeathon video? Absolutely, because to me they all just blend together and there's not much to set them apart, you know? And there's also a lot of the times when I watch channels, quite there are a lot of channels that I don't watch every video. I just watch the occasional video that they post that's maybe about a genre that I like or an author I like or something like that. And when those kinds of channels are doing the Booktubeathon, for me it pretty much just spams up my feed because I'm not gonna go out of my way to watch a Booktubeathon video. I'd only watch it from somebody who I really like and who I watch all of their videos. So, yeah, I mean, it's a good thing. And I'm glad that the community has it. It's just not for me, I guess. Did this make sense? I don't know. This was meant to be more of a discussion, but I didn't plan it out or anything. And my battery is now running out as well. So I guess it's just become about a, a bit more of a ramble about why I'm not taking part. Again, more power to you if you are taking part. More power to you if you're not. I think that's what's good about BookTube is that we have a nice variety of people who have different interests and bring different things to the platform. But, um... Yeah, I'm just keen to know you guys what you think of Booktube on. It may it may also partly be because I've been watching Booktube for like four or five years now, and so I've seen loads of Booktube thons and I've always felt the same thing. I've always been like, don't make videos about this. I miss your regular programming, you know? So potentially because of that, I'm just a bit bored with it. I've seen too many of them and just by this point don't really want to take part myself. I don't know. I'd love to hear your thoughts about Booktubeathon, so please do let me know in the comments. Hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video, and to counteract the inevitable dislikes, hit subscribe for more bookish videos, and I'll see you soon for another one. But I will not be doing Booktubeathon, I guess. Booktuber gone! Bye-bye.